Hello there. Today it's going to be a little bit different. We are going to learn how to make this print cut and glue um, card holders or gift card holders or pockets for your journals. And today we are doing a nighttime kind of thing and Maxi here, our Yorkie is with us because he's waiting for me to finish the voiceover so that we can go cut his hair. So let's get started. First, you're gonna print out um, my free printable papers or you can use any paper of your liking. Um, and I found this free printable mini envelopes or car holders online. So I decided to tune them up a little bit. Um, if you Google them, you'll be able to find some sort of free printable um, little pockets like this and you can um, add decor like I'm doing or just as always I'm gonna have these for free for you to print and use for personal use and put them in your gifts or just put a card in there to be your gift or whatever you like like I said I use them in my journals and also in my bullet journal because I like to save some receipts um, if you like to see how I use this other than to put gift cards let me know but basically what I'm doing is cutting some parts from my papers that I like, especially this bubbly one. I really like this bubble one. And if you don't know what papers I'm talking about and this is your first video of me, then I'm going to just um, add links for you for the printables in the description of the video. Remember, they are for free, so you can use them for your personal use anytime you like. Um, and here I'm just adding some Sharpie marker to add some decor. Notice how I go on the little flap thingy um, to the right because you can fold them two different ways with the flaps out or with the flaps in. But um, now I'm just basically doodling whatever I like on them. I want to keep these very, you know, minimal but at the same time fun. So some of them are going to have a little bit more detail than others. But basically I'm just playing and I'm also going to be leaving a link to um, what I use in the video. For example, I'm using this Microns and I really like this pens. I love them. Um, I use them a lot and I um, have like the materials that I use in every single one of my videos so that you can actually see what it is and if you like you can check them out or buy them or find something similar at your house that you can use. But any fine liner uh, will do because we're not going to be adding wet coffee to this. We're only going to be doodling um, and gluing and cutting. So no messy <laughs> coffee today, but coffee at the end, you know, just printables. So I'm going to call that one done and I'm going to move on to the next one. You're going to see that um, I don't have any rhyme or reason. I just play with my papers and move them around and see if I like it here, lower, upper, you know, just keep in mind that these are gonna be folded and that I'm not actually going to be using this ones. So I don't necessarily glue them all the way because I like to scan them and keep the scanned version in my computer. I am a minimalist and I don't like to have a lot of papers around. So I only print this out when I need them and the holiday season is approaching and I have many people in my family whose birthdays are in November and December especially so we like to send some of this with the kids um, drawings on them so I print the blank version for them they decor them and then I put them through the um, scanner and then we just print those out as Christmas cards and we add a little note inside so this is what we send in the mail and like I said I also use these in my um, bullet journal so if you like to see how I use them just let me know in the comments below and I'll make a video on how I do that and also um, I make journals like handmade journals like from papers like if you've seen my videos you know this and I also sew this in my signatures. If you don't know how to do that, I'll be happy to make a video. Just let me know again in the comments down below. And in this um, particular one, I'm using a heart shape, but I like this folded kind of line version of it. But I didn't want to go it on top of the heart because it will be too harsh. 
So I'm just doing it on the paper and placing the heart on top. And as you saw, I fold it. So the heart kind of looks folded, but it's not black. It's not dark. And this subtle kind of shading in the heart, I love. So now that I'm happy with my background, I glued my heart down. And you know I struggle with lines. Like, my hands play the maracas on me, and I love practicing lines. And this is just a way for me to relax. So feel free to just keep in mind that whatever it is that you need to practice, you can do it in this style of um, little envelopes or little pockets. And don't be afraid to try trying and you know making mistakes and learning and practicing that's how we get better so i will totally encourage you to just do it practice get your hand out there and move it and let it be free and happy <laughs> This is the actual speed in which I do them <laughs> and this is how they turn out. I decided to leave it alone like this. So here's a little bit of a close-up. I'm sorry about the shading. This is some late night um, relaxing moment for me after the kids went to bed. So that's why the lighting is a bit different. Now in here, I'm trying to do something different. I like how these bubbles look together and I was trying to make it work and see if I could cut or draw two little leaves and have them be together in the middle and not cut them, like cut the bubbles in half. But um, I don't always end up with what I think I'm gonna end up. So <laughs> I decided I was gonna draw some monstera leaves in the back here, you know, my obsession with plants. If you like me to show you all my plants, I'll be happy to make a plant video for you. <laughs> But um, basically, I'm surrounded by plants and I love it. They make me happy. They bring me joy. So I am not getting rid of my plants anytime soon. And yeah, if you see here, I'm not even cutting what I marked the lines because I didn't really like them. So I just went with where my hand took me, you know, with the flow and my hand did the job and I was happy with it at the end. A little trick here is that when you finish cutting and doing your design, if you don't want it to look flat because this is pretty busy already, like the bubbles make it busy, just uh, go around it with your fine line pen and make some lines thicker and some lines thinner. Um, the border is a little bit uh, tricky because you'll be going off of it. That's why you have to use like a little background paper to like get the catch the leftover ink like the, the ink from um, around, but um, yeah, basically that's what you do. And I'm gonna show you a little trick at the end with a Sharpie marker, so stay tuned for that. And moving on. So moving on, I kinda went a little bit off frame here. <laughs> I guess I was a little bit tired by here. But I wanted to not cut this part out of the video because I am making a rainbow and I wanted to show you the process I go through and how my brain works. So I basically just keep cutting away layers and placing this little rainbow shape on top of papers that I think it will look good. Um, like the contrast and then I keep moving it around until I find a position that I'm happy with and then I cut away some layers I do thick some others I do thin so here I feel like I'm missing like a little bit in the background here so it's not too busy and this one did it for me so I just glued it down and cut away this one it's just thin just to give it kind of like a little border and ground it um, and now I'm happy with it and it's exactly the width of my little pocket here. So I don't know if you remember when I was cutting my leaf. This is what it's left from cutting my little Monstera um, shaped leaves. And I really like how that little skinny piece of paper looked. So I just placed it on top of the um, my little pocket here and I glued it in a way so that it looked like it was all one piece. And I really liked how this one turned out. I was thinking maybe on the top you can do like 
for Nana on her birthday from the little, you know, the little people in your life or something like that. I don't know. To and from will be good in those two little holes in the middle. Just thinking out loud here what I will do and this is what went through my mind. So now I'm doing this little trick around it and you know the border I said it was difficult. Here's the trick with the little um, sharpie marker. Just go around it like this and it will make it really easy for you to do that outside part. And now I'm doing a hard, then I feel like this is too thin, so I'm making a little bit thicker just to give it some dimension, you know, so it wouldn't look so flat. Play with your um, lines, make them thicker, make them thinner. This will actually teach you something um, while you're doing it. I don't know what it is yet because it's going to be taught to you and you're going to teach it to yourself. So just practice and play and be free. I will totally encourage you to try something like this when you're feeling stuck. Just play. Don't have a, you know, a plan in mind. Just do. And it's totally free. And trust me, this is fun. So now I'm playing with my little leaves and I decide that this is how they're going to go. And I'm going to keep this one very minimal. So I'm just going to do two little stems, make them a little bit thicker, you know, give them a little dimension and like where the leaf is attached. And I call that one done. Then I'm going to move over to this one. And I think this one just needs some dark around it. And that middle part, like I said, it's going to be blank to write something. I don't know what yet, but... It's there for me for birthdays, for Christmas, for Valentine's. I don't know. It's pretty chick looking. <laughs> and now for this one, I think it needs something a little bit like ray of sunshine. So I just do some lines in the background. And this one, it's going to be the simple one. <laughs> a rainbow and lines. So I hope you like this. And I hope um, that you can use them in your holidays. I'm going to... To show you what I did without doodling um, to and how to put them together so this is what they look like once you cut them out and then the only thing you have to do is fold them so here this one you fold the two little flaps and when you're going to glue them you glue the flaps to the big um, the bigger flap so they will be hidden inside so just add some um, tape double-sided tape or glue or whatever you have and just fold it and that's it you're done this is ready for you to use and just stick your cart right in the middle right here that's it the other one remember I did some lines in the little flaps so this is up to you I like to put my flaps inside but this is also another way to do it just do your flaps in the outside and you will have to do some decor in the middle if you like or just leave it like this like I said, I prefer my little flaps inside, so if you want to do like the entire envelope, I mean the little pocket, you can do that too. And if you don't like any of the doodling one and you want to do your own um, simple um, coffee pocket, this is what I did. I just printed the little pockets in the back of one of my coffee printed papers, and this is it boom done you have like a vintage kind of pocket for your journals or for your gift cards or whatever you want to use them for and this is it so i hope you like it guys and this is how all of them look like if you do end up trying this or printing them out or doing it or whatever it is let me know i'll link all my info down thanks for watching bye